Hi guys, that little dot you see up there is a spectacularly gorgeous moonrise. I mean, over the top, beautiful. I guess it's officially the full moon tomorrow night. Tonight is, I think, Wednesday, somewhere around November 17, 2021. I think the full moon is tomorrow. But anyway, so I am sitting here on this absolutely spectacularly gorgeous night, over the top beautiful night here in paradise, in absolute paradise. You can probably hear the crickets chirping in the background. It's pro And now, of course, you can hear the airboat. Y you know, here is paradise. Uh, the sun is down, the moon is up, and the airboats are out for a full moon. I, I thought I could actually sit here and do a job about paradise and these motherfucking airboats crank up just to let me know. <sighs> but other than that, there's gorgeous moonrise, the crickets chirping. I am sitting here uh, enjoying an ice cold margarita. I just finished a delicious meal at the new Vietnamese restaurant down there in the Oasis of Freedom. Unbelievably, a very good Vietnamese meal. Things are looking up. <coughs> a absolutely glorious day. You know, working out in the yard, getting this place all cleaned up, uh, coming along beautiful weather, beautiful scenery, peace and quiet, no nemesis. And what did I spend two and a half hours of my life today doing was down at the motherfucking Verizon store. I need to go back and do that rant that I did about Verizon several years ago when I was in Cedar Key, Florida at the end of a dirt road trying to get Verizon uh, to get me some, you know, make a fucking phone call and get some internet. So anyway, two and a half hours on tech support uh, about what the fuck is going on out here. Two and a half hours. They finally gave up and they just said your shit out of luck. That you are just, uh, just like I am in New York. She actually, uh, she actually looked at my, at my uh, address in New York and kind of laughed and, and, and said, you're fucked coming and going, uh, dude. She, she goes, you have no cell phone service in New York or Florida. And I talk, and I told her what's going on in New York, which is easy to solve. But she just said, "I'm in this. I'm in this little, uh, just in this unfortunate little fucking hole under some rock that I will ne I just will not have Verizon service here. I will. I will not be able to make a cell phone call. I will have no hot spot." Uh, I, I will have no hot spot. Uh, I will have, I, I don't know if I'll have Wi-Fi calling or not. I will have no Pandora music. Won't be able to send an email, surf the web. I, I for all intents and purposes, this $700 uh, Cadillac phone is completely worthless here. And... Then I, you know, I kept telling her, I said, well, you know my next door neighbor, 100 feet from here, has Verizon. And she's acting like, well, uh, your neighbor uh, is just lucky, I guess. And so then she starts trying to sell me a, a some sort of power booster for 240 fucking dollars. 
And I'm telling her, I said, well, lady, I, I said, I think that Verizon owes me this. So anyway, I'm just wondering what the, I, I was sure that it, that Lulu was using Verizon here. I was, I was 99.9% sure that Lulu used to sit here and yap on, for right where I'm sitting, in this, right in this, I'm in the outdoor kitchen. She would sit right here in this kitchen on Verizon. She would yap all fucking day long on Verizon. She had her Pandora or one of the music services, you, you know, she, she operated her, uh, her cell phone music service, whichever one it was. I think it was Pandora, uh, from her phone right in this chair I'm sitting. She would watch YouTube videos, could go on Netflix, do whatever the fuck she wanted, but I wasn't sure. So after two and a half fucking hours dealing with Verizon, you know, I'm telling me I'm shit out of luck, nothing I could do about it. I'm on a two-year fucking contract. Uh, I'm driving home and I said, wait a minute, Hambone, you have Lulu's daughter's cell phone number. So, I call Lulu's daughter, the, the now 15-year-old girl who sat right here living on her cell phone. She used to, uh, she used to do TikTok. Uh, she has a TikTok channel which she runs through her cell phone. Uh, so I call this girl and I said, darling, I said, what cell phone service did you use out here uh, at, 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 you know, at my place? And she said, I have Verizon. And I said, so let me get this straight. I, I said, so you, your mother, and your brother, all three had Verizon cell phones. Yep. They worked absolutely perfectly. All three of them could be yakking on the phone all day, uh, you know, playing videos, uploading TikToks, uh, running their Pandoras. The, the, the boy was probably playing video games. Three people sitting in, in, in this fucking, pretty much in this chair where I'm sitting, uh, sat here and yammered all fucking day on Verizon the next door neighbor, he sits here and yaks on Verizon, and after two and a half hours on tech support, uh, Verizon just said, I am sorry, sir, uh, you're just in one of these weird little blips, there's nothing we can do for you except sell you a $240 gizmo with no guarantee it is going to fix your problem. Now the tech support person, she had one idea and it would only cost me $20. She said, where did you buy the phone? And I said, I bought it in New York. She goes, okay, you did not buy uh, the phone in Florida. So what we did is we updated all of the network settings and all of that shit. Uh, and it made no diff no fucking difference doing all of that stuff. And what she said, there is a chance, a slim chance that the SIM card in the phone that the SIM card in the phone was set up to New York whatever. And it's not taking the Florida, some sort of local Florida override. So when we, when we're, when she's updating the settings and all of that shit, uh, it looks to her like what we might be doing is updating all of the 
the network settings for Ithaca, New York, and not Inverness, Florida. So she said, you can take a $20 gamble and, uh, and, and, and get the guys at the store to sell you a new Sims card for $20. No guarantee that this is going to work. Install a Florida Sims card. A brand new, clean Florida Sims card. Get everything, uh, all your network settings set to Inverness, Florida from day one and hope to hell that is the glitch. And there were four guys uh, at the Verizon store hearing that idea and they were all rolling their eyes like this woman had lost her fucking mind and I said darling it sounds like you're really grasping at straws I said my two choices you're telling me to spend twenty dollars or two hundred and forty dollars with no guarantee that it's gonna work but other than that, that I am completely fucked, despite the fact that my next door neighbor is uh, on uh, is on Verizon uh, all day long. Now I did not know for sure. I told her I was 99% sure that the woman who was uh, right here uh, was on Verizon. She had no explanation for it so any of you geeks out there uh, but, but you know just thinking of the un fucking uh, believable amount of, of time and energy I've put into this trying to make a fucking cell phone call and get my fucking hot spot so I have the internet company coming out here tomorrow they're telling me the people at the internet office are saying everything should be working fine out there. Uh, you know, we came in the how we and went in the house. We unplugged the fucking router, disconnected the cable, did all of that shit, uh, reset everything, uh, totally reset the modem, the router, the cable. All of the fucking lights are just glowing peacefully everything is humming along uh, on this end everything is humming along down there at the office they say uh, they say all indications to them are that I should have top-notch internet here and uh, Verizon is, is saying I, I should have Verizon and it is the year 2021 I cannot make a fucking cell phone call uh, there is no way for me to make a phone call, send an email, surf the web, upload a video, listen to Pandora. So I might as well give it the fuck up, listen to the crickets, drink this margarita, and enjoy this beautiful full moonrise. And do what humans did for 200,000 fucking years before this fucking bullshit uh, appeared in our fucking lives. I'm fucking believable. Uh, the amount of our brains that we let this shit eat. And I'm not stopping. I'm back on uh, Verizon uh, tomorrow and saying this is fucking bullshit. Anyway, uh, get out there and enjoy any cell phone company except Verizon while you still can. I cannot believe I'm back with fucking Verizon at the end of a dirt road in Florida after that fucking bullshit that I went through with these motherfuckers how many years ago and falling for this bullshit again, but I'm off to enjoy this gorgeous full moonrise and listen to some crickets. Bye, guys.
the airboat seems to be getting farther away 